Hey guys, it's Cassie. So the one thing I get asked most is how do I get a flat stomach or how do you lose body fat in your tummy? And so I have a few just quick, easy tips for you guys on how to get a flat stomach in the easiest way possible and the healthiest as well. Because I know a lot of people don't do it the very healthy way and that's not the way to go. So um, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven to eight because one has like two little tips in it, um, ways that you can get a flat stomach. So just stay tuned, keep watching, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well as all my others, and I hope you guys enjoy, thanks! The first tip I have is don't eat simple carbs. Um, simple carbs are things like anything like white, like white rice or white bread or things like that, or anything that in the ingredients it says enriched flour. That means that it's a simple carb and that um, your body just dissolves it really quickly. It's ba it's like a sugar, basically. Because um, a sugar is a type of carb, and that's the type of carb it is. So, simple carbs are not good for your body because um, eating whole wheat carbs, um, those are complex carbs, those are good for your body because they actually, they take time to digest, and it just takes a lot more effort for your body to digest them and break them down and stuff. And so, it uses more energy, and they're not just stored as fat in your body, so don't eat simple carbs. <laughs> Another thing is water. I can't stress this enough, like, you might think you're getting enough water throughout the day, but you might not be. A lot of people just don't know truthfully, like, how much water to drink, and it really, really helps. It, one, just keeps water in your body so you don't store salt and everything so you're not bloated, because that's one reason you might get you know, not as flat a stomach as you want. Um, and also, it just keeps you full, because a lot of times when you overeat, um, at least for me, it helps just when I drink water, because sometimes it's like, I think I'm hungry, but I'm actually thirsty, and just water is just, it helps so much, so drink a lot of water throughout the day. Try and drink like a whole glass of cold, ice cold water right as you wake up and it'll help start your day and then drink just a lot throughout the day. Another thing is doing a lot of cardio exercises, so running, walking, biking, swimming, anything to just get your body moving that's not just resistance training or like lifting weights and stuff like that. Um, it just kind of melts away the fat on your body. It really just gets your heart rate pumping, your metabolism going, and it really helps with getting a flat stomach. Okay, so the next thing, a lot of people think that just doing crunches and sit-ups every day will get you a flat tummy. That's not the way it works. Yes, it will help to get you some muscle in your stomach, don't get me wrong, they're great exercises, but not if you're just doing those. If you really want a toned or defined or just flat stomach at all, and you want to build some muscle there, then you have to do other exercises besides just crunches and sit-ups. There's so many out there, just look either on my videos, I have a bunch of ab exercise like videos on here, you can totally look at those. And um, One, I have thir over 30 exercises just for abs that are absolutely great that you should check out. I will link that on the screen here and down below so you guys can go see that. And then, or you could just look up on like Google or Instagram or anything and look up ab exercises. And there's so many more out there than just crunches and sit-ups. Those only work on your upper abs and they really don't do that much. Um, in the long run, you'll just, it'll be so much easier and faster to get your goals, like stomach, like what you actually want if you don't just focus on those two exercises. Also, if you just do a certain exercise or a certain routine, like all the time, if you say for like four months, the, the only ab exercise you do are crunches, um, your body will get used to that exercise and it won't start working as effectively anymore. It might make progress um, like when you first start doing it, but after about a month or a month and a half, it won't work anymore. Um, I have a whole video on that too, it's a muscle confusion video, so I will link that as well if you want to go check it out. But um, yeah, it's kind of a weird concept, but so don't just stick to one routine or one exercise, like change it up every few weeks or a month or so, and then you can go back to it after you've done another thing for a little bit also. 
Make sure to eat um, a lot of protein, fiber, and healthy fats. They're the things that take the longest to digest in your body and that help um, keep you full and build up muscle and just yeah they're really good for getting a flat stomach because it doesn't make you want to eat more and it also doesn't um what the heck i think like a something just flew into me okay probably didn't even see that i'm probably just sounding like a weirdo <laughs> anyway um so that, those are the things that just like keep you full longer and they don't make you crave other foods like carbs especially simple carbs that's why you shouldn't eat them make you crave other unhealthy foods so don't do that because you don't want unhealthy foods that's the worst thing like diet is very very important to getting a healthy uh, a healthy it's healthy too but a flat stomach <laughs> Um, also, I've mentioned this in a lot of videos so far, but eat little meals more frequently throughout the day, not just three big meals, because basically what you're doing is getting super full on food, which makes your stomach go out to here, and then you're getting really, 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 like, empty inside, and then eating again and doing, like, the same process over again. Oh, and don't skip meals either, that's another thing. Do not skip meals, that's not good for yourself. Um, but yeah, to eat more frequently, it just keeps your body... At like a good level throughout the day you're not too full and you're not too hungry it's just like very satisfying throughout the day so even if you eat kind of a bigger meal and then just have like a snack but just to keep your body and metabolism going throughout the day. so a lot of people think that to get a flat stomach you just can't eat no no that's not true at all you have to eat like a lot actually you have to eat the right amount not not too much that's what I'm gonna say that you have to eat enough but not too much so don't overeat obviously that won't get you a great stomach but don't under eat either because what your body does is it starts to go in starvation mode when you skip a meal or you only eat like very little throughout the day like if you only have a thousand calories or something in a day or less than that then your body goes into starvation mode and it starts to um, store fat and it also will eat away at muscle. Your body just stores fat and it does more damage than it does good for yourself. Um, also, you just don't have energy because you're hungry and it's just really not the way to go. So, um, there was one other thing I was gonna, oh, don't eat, well, I kind of already mentioned this. Don't um, have an excessive amount of sugar. So try and stay away from things like juices or even, even salad dressings. Um, unless you get a light version or like no sugar added or something um, a lot of condiments and things you put on food have a lot of sugar so make sure to check on the nutrition label before you eat something and try not to have a lot of sugar because that's like I said before a simple carb and it just goes through your body and just stays there and you don't want that um, I think that's about it I hope these tips really helped you guys um, yeah, and go watch my other videos. Tell me if this helps because I know that that's one of the most frequently asked questions is how to get a flat stomach. I know everybody wants one. I want one. Like, everyone does. So, um, yeah, I just tried to come up with what has helped me in my experience and what else I've heard from other people and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I hope this really helps you and I will see you guys next time. If you have any other video requests, please leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. So give this a thumbs up before leaving and bye!